We have seen that B trees and B plus trees are the structure which are used to implement the dynamic multi-level index. Having discussed the multi-level index, we will first learn the indexing using B plus tree because B plus tree is more alike the multi-level index. After that, we shall see the B tree indexing in DBMS. So keep in mind the structure of the multi-level index so that we can easily follow the structure and properties of the B plus tree in an easy way. Now this is our database file on the disk. Now we are going to implement a B plus tree index for it. We know that generally a tree consists of the root node, internal nodes and the leaf nodes. We will first start from the leaf nodes and will build the tree up. In a B plus tree, all the leaf nodes are at the same level and will be connected as a list. This list of leaf nodes is similar to the first level index of the multi-level index. Each block can be considered as a node here. We know that in multi-level index, in the first level, each block consists of keys with pointers where these pointers are either the direct record pointer or the block pointer which point to the block containing the record corresponding to the key. So whatever be whether the record pointer or block pointer using these pointers we will be able to access the real data record. Similarly, in these leaf nodes, each leaf node consists of key with pointer pairs where the pointers point either directly to the record or to the block containing the record. So whatever be, these pointers help us to access our required database record corresponding to this key. Hence, we can call these pointers as the data pointers. Thus each leaf node consists of the key with the data pointer corresponding to the key and such a set of key with pointer pairs. In addition, each leaf node consists of one pointer which points to the next leaf node. Hence this pointer is pointing to another node within the tree. Hence we can call it as the node pointer and all the keys will be sorted within the leaf nodes and between the nodes and all the leaf nodes will be connected as a list and will be at the same level too. So the general leaf node structure is the key with the pointer, key with the corresponding pointer and so on. So suppose this node is filled up to this maximum. Assume that if this leaf node is filled to its maximum, it can keep n number of data pointers. If it can keep n number of data pointers, then there will be n number of keys. So the number of pointers and keys which can be kept in this leaf node depends upon the capacity of the leaf node, the size of the keys and the size of the pointers. So in addition to this key pointer pair, there will be one node pointer too, which points to the next leaf node. Now moving up, we have the level of internal nodes. In the multi-level index, if we move up, the next level contains blocks, where each block consists of keys with pointers. And these pointers will be pointing to one block of the next level. Here also it is similar but now we are constructing a tree structure so a general structure of a node is of an internal node is first there will be a pointer then key pointer key and finally there will be a pointer thus here also the internal node first contains a pointer which points to the node of the next level then there is a key which will be the maximum of the key values present in the subtree pointed by this left pointer. Otherwise it can be the minimum from the right to. Here we are taking the maximum from the left subtree. And again there will be a pointer which points to the node at the next level then key and so on. At the end there will be a pointer. 
So remember these keys are not associated with their corresponding data record. These keys will be just acting as a guide for the search. Only the keys present in the leaf nodes will be associated with their corresponding data pointer using which we can access the required database record. And every key within the database file will be present in the leaf nodes. Among it, some of the keys will be present on the internal nodes. But these internal nodes will be just acting as a guide for the search. It means if we are searching for a record whose key value is less than or equal to this key value 20, then access this left pointer and go to the subtree pointed by this pointer, then access the corresponding record from the leaf node. And if we are searching a key value which is between these two values, then we should access this pointer and move along this subtree. And we can have any levels of internal nodes. So the general internal node structure is pointer k1, pointer k, pointer k and so on. And suppose this node is filled up to its maximum. Let m be the maximum number of pointers. An internal node can hold. Then how many keys will be there on that internal node? One less than it. Thus there will be m minus one keys and all the keys will be sorted to and how many pointers and keys can be kept in the internal node it will depend upon the, mac uh, the capacity of this internal node and the size of the pointers and keys now if m is the maximum number of node pointers these are all node pointers which point to some node within the tree not data pointer so if m is the maximum number of node pointers an internal node can keep it means m is the maximum number of children an internal node can have then m is called the order of that b plus tree Finally, there will be a single root node. The root node structure is exactly similar to that of the internal node structure. First, a pointer which points to one node at the next level. Then the key which will be the maximum from the left subtree. Then pointer and so on. At the end, there will also be a pointer. And all the keys will be sorted to. So if M is the maximum number of node pointers an internal node can have, then it will also be the maximum number of pointers a root node can have. Then there will be M minus 1 keys in the root node. And M will be the order of that B plus tree. So the order of the root node and internal node will be the same but it will be different. It may not be same with that of the leaf node. So these are the terms associated with B plus tree indexing. There will be keys and the keys in the leaf nodes will be associated with the data pointers. The data pointers are the pointers with the help of which we can access the required database record itself. And the leaf node consists of the data pointer and one node pointer too. This node pointer will be pointing to the next leaf node. The internal nodes and the root nodes contain only the keys and their keys and the node pointers. Then if M is the order of the B plus tree, it will be the maximum number of children an internal node or a root node can have. Next we shall discuss the properties of the B plus tree. For that first remember what is the order of B plus tree. If M is the order of B plus tree it means M is the maximum number of node pointer an internal node or a root node can have. Then for an internal node the maximum number of children it can have is M. If M is the maximum number of children an internal node can have, what will be the maximum number of keys it can hold? It will be 1 less than it, M minus 1. 
Now for the root node, the structure is similar to that of the internal node. So if M is the order of B plus 3, the maximum number of children the root node can have is M. Then what will be the maximum number of keys it can hold? It is M minus 1. Now coming to leaf node, the leaf node structure is a bit different from that of the root and internal nodes. So let n be the maximum number of data pointers a leaf node can hold. Then what will be the number of keys associated with it? It will be same, there will be n number of keys. And in addition there will be one node pointer which points to the next leaf node. And the next point to remember is every node except the root node should be at least half filled. We know that B trees and B plus trees are a kind of M way search trees with some rules and conditions imposed on it which ensure that the tree is always height balanced. This is one such rule. It ensures that the nodes are almost filled from top to bottom. This will pack up the nodes and will make the tree compact and as a result the tree will be height balanced. Thus the search time can be reduced. So for the internal node, if the maximum number of children it can hold, it can have is M, then what should be the minimum number of children so that it is half filled, it will be M by 2. And if M by 2 is the minimum number of children an internal node can have, then minimum number of keys it will have is 1 less than it, M by 2 minus 1. But for the root node, it should not be half filled. Every node except the root node should be at least half filled. But for the root node, minimum two children is required because only if there is at least two children, then it can form a tree structure. Otherwise, it will be a single node. So the minimum number of children a root node should have is two. Then what will be the number of keys in it? One less than it, that is one. Now coming to leaf node, the leaf node should also be half filled. So in order to be half filled, if n is the maximum number of node pointers a leaf, uh, sorry, data pointers a leaf node can have, for it to be half filled, how many data pointers it can have? It is n by 2. Then for to be half filled, how many keys it should have? It is 1 less than it, n by 2 minus 1. Then all other properties can be remembered based on the structure. All the leaf nodes will be at the same level and will be connected as a list. And for every record there will be a key pointer pair in the leaf node. So in order to access any particular record from the database file, we start from the root node. Search for a value k such that the searched key value is less than or equal to it. Then move to the subtree pointed by its left pointer. Then again find a key value such that the searched value is less than or equal to it. And finally reach the leaf node. Get the corresponding record pointer and access the record. So we can see that for every record the time taken will be the same since all the leaf nodes are at the same level. Also if we need a range of values after reaching one leaf node we are able to access all the values by traversing this list of leaf nodes itself. Hence for searching a range of values this B plus tree indexing is very useful. So for every record the search time is the same then the keys are sorted within the tree which helps in a binary mode type search. Hence all the key values within the subtree will be less than or equal to k1 and all the key values within this subtree st2 will be greater than k1 and less than or equal to k2 and all the key values within this subtree will be greater than k2 and less than or equal to k3 and all the key values within this subtree will be greater than k3. 
Thus, the keys are sorted in the entire tree to enhance a binary mode search. So we have seen how B plus tree indexing is used in DBMS and what is the general structure of a B plus tree and what are the properties of the B plus tree.